It has been said that the charm of fishing is the pursuit of something that is elusive but attainable. I couldn't agree more. We always have the same game plan, catch fish. But the type of fish, the size, or even how it all plays out is a mystery until we push away from the dock and start casting. Today is no different. I'm joined on the skiff with fellow captain Noah Miller as we search for something that'll put a bend in the rock. The exciting part, the thing that fuels the fire, the reason we get up so early, is that pursuit of the elusive but attainable. You just never know what you're going to catch, and the next cast could be the one where it all comes together. Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Nice sight fishing opportunities for lots of different species today, but hopefully the pompano will show up. Hey, whatever shows up, bro, I don't care. I, I, I can't remember. It's been months since I've been fishing, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just Same. excited to be on the water and do some fishing. And yeah, yeah I'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna switch it off today. We're gonna have oh, some yeah. fun. Cool, looking forward to it. All right, homie, let's, uh, let's get out of this manatee zone and then we can take off and run. Let's do it, man, let's go. Spot. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. fish this point up here. Start with the six weight or an eight weight? Let's grab the eight weight. Okay. Who's up first? You pulling or I'm pulling? You were late, so you're pulling first. <laughs> <laughs> get up there. <laughs> gonna be a little sporty until we get around that corner, brother. Yeah, I Got like that north wind. It's gonna push us down this, this shoreline. Yeah, it's gonna push us pretty quickly, but I like fishing you know, where the wind's pushing water around a oh, point. Oh, around this point here, absolutely. Fish like to use it as a little ambush point. All right, well, let's get up there and find them. Let's do it. Let's do a little blind casting this morning up to the bushes and see if we can't pull a fish out. You know, I don't mind that. When I first started fly fishing in salt water, that, that was exactly what, what I was doing. I was. It helped work with casting and helped work with accuracy, just fishing mangroves, blind oh, yeah. casting. You end up picking up fish that you wouldn't see otherwise. And then as you improve your game, you're able to sight fish. You're able to find those fish, see them and present to them. So I well, don't mind blind casting. Plus first thing in the morning. That low we, light, hard to see in the water anyways. Exactly. Nice throw. 
Yeah, we got that north wind. It's kind of pushing us down. I'm trying to keep us moving, but moving controlled and a little slower. Call it a crab walk. Yes, sir. Gives you the opportunity to make that cast, that presentation, without having to strip so stinking fast. Oh, look at the mud just blew out right there. Got some glass mills right behind you. I bet you that was a snook laid up on that flat. Yep, definitely was. Let's see if we can get one to eat. Right there. The sun's warming us up so much I had to pull my jacket off. Yeah, I'm about to pull this hoodie off, brother. Maybe since the uh, sun's warming us up, it'll warm the fish up too and they'll get more cooperative. They coming, they coming. I ain't worried about it. We've seen a few. We've had a couple chase it. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. Is there a fish back in there? It looks like a fish. Just like it's facing the right, like your line's over top of him. See him? No, I don't. Right here on the edge, nine o'clock. That sure looks like a fish sitting right on that dark spot. See it? There? Right there. Yep, 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 yep. Got him. Got him. Nice snook. Good job, bro. Came right off the edge of that root pile there. Got me deep. He got you deep in there. I'm gonna try to pull you out, see if I can help you. Take your time, take your time. Keep that rod low, keep that line off those mangrove roots. Here he comes. Watch that, he's coming, yep, yep. just watch that stump there. Oh, I'm around it, I'm around it. You might need a... Gotta push yeah. me up closer now. Let me get you close. He's still out, he's still out. He's still out of it, just watch that. Watch that root there. That's where he was sitting too. Yep. You brought the fly right past it. There goes another one. Come on, let go of that root. All right, you're up, you're off. Here he comes. Nice job, dude. Nice. Oh, now I feel a whole lot better. He came off of there. Now we got him where we want him a little yeah. bit more. And I'm gonna put the boat between him and the mangroves to kind yeah. of deter him. Most definitely. Well done, dude. Thanks, dude. I'm a power pull down, I can down and help you. Leader is chased. Dude, I gotta get this fish. Sweet, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking that about. That is a heck of a snow, dude. Good stuff, dude. He inhaled it. Too, yeah, he brother. did. Look at this leader. That oh, leader's it's about out. About to go. Look at that guy. Nice, probably 28 inch fish. Hey, let's, uh, let's get over here. That dolphin. It's coming, they're feeding. Let's get over here in this really shallow pocket so we don't release that fish tired and they get eaten. That's too nice of a snook, man. I don't want to feed these dolphins. You got a hold of her good? Yep, I got her. All right, cool. Get her Great there, job, man. dude. Beautiful Thanks, fish. Combat fishing. Sick eat. Combat fishing is right, man. And she knew where to go. She uh, immediately went under those mangroves. Immediately. And you stuck that rod in the water, keep that angle low. That was perfectly done, brother. Thanks, man. What in your first rodeo? And then there was that tree stump 
that we got wrapped around, and that's where she was sitting too. Yep, she came off of that stump. I saw her right on the back side of the stump, come up, lift it up, and suck that little tiny glass minnow fly down. Ah, uh, yeah, this is so much better. Yeah, come on, girl. Oh, there she goes, ready? Awesome, oh, dude. That was so awesome, dude. Thanks for the push. <laughs> yeah, that was dude. Sick. I needed that so bad. Well, that was it's been a while since I got to pull on one like that. That was a great experience, and just watching it come up and eat, and that whole battle, yeah, and then man. to release her here where she's safe, bro. Cherry on top. And that leader is just right. Uh, let's see if it'll. Pop. All right, let's re rig it and get back to fishing. Yeah, man. I'm gonna retie this uh, this leader here, this bite tippet, and then we'll get you up there. Come on. Let's do it. Game. Which side are you gonna go on his right side? I would throw it almost at his head because of the, the wind current. Yeah. What direction are you gonna go? He's, what's that? Are you gonna be on the right side of him? Am I? Yeah. I want you to throw right now at his head, basically. There you go, strip, strip. It's gotta be a scar on his back. Yeah, that's fish. Yeah, let it sink. Strip, strip, strip. Stop. Strip, strip. Oh. What did you just hold, a cobia? Oh. Let it go if he wants to go. I don't know, I think it's a cobia. Or that or a big remora. He's staying with the manatee. You better start pulling. <laughs> Let him go if he wants we to go. We thought it was a pompano. <laughs> oh my! I was like, is that is that <laughs> was that a scar? No, that's not a scar. That's a fish. <laughs> what just happened? I don't even know what we're hooked up to. I don't even right know now. what we're hooked up to. What do we got? John? We don't have the manatee. We definitely don't have the manatee. It's either a Kobe or a Remora. It might be a big Remora, which even if it's a big Remora, that's freaking cool, dude. <laughs> it's, if it's a Remora, it's the biggest Remora I've ever seen. Oh my, is that a Remora? Or is it a Cobia? Oh my God, dude. That thing's huge. It's literally the size of a Cobia. It might as well be a cobia. I don't want to put too much heat on with that 12. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> I love it when crazy stuff happens like this. It's just, it's just, you never know. Every day is different out here on the water. What an adventure, man. Out here looking for pompano on manatees, which I've never done before. Throwing a six weight into the wind. That fish peeled right off of his back. Pounce on that little. We thought it was block. a scar. I it mean, we, we it was staying on top of the like, It I, looked like a scar. I was like, that scar disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a scar. That's a fish. All right, I'm gonna jump down and rack and push full. Trim this motor down just a little bit so we get a good drift. Yeah, it's a remora. Look at that. That's a huge remora, dude. Golly, that is a fat remora. What? what in the world? Bro? What in the world? <laughs> That's insane. You could probably eat it like a cobia. <laughs> probably. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, the six way. Look at that guy. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a cobia, but it's the biggest remora I've ever seen. I've never <laughs> seen one that big before in my life. That's a giant. Do you think it is like 30? Almost 36 inches, probably. Yeah, and it weighs 15. That's a, that's a big 20 one. 20 pounds, that close to it. Is, 
huge. Just, it's just fat, bro. On a six weight, too. On the six weight, on Not a little at all pompano our, shrimp fly. On a little shrimp fly, too. <laughs> That's insane. Well, you know, we had some shots of some big snook. You got a great snook. We came out here looking for some pompano because the snook just gave me the fin. You know, I kind of drained this as a one-time kind of deal, bro. That's pretty awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Ooh. I've never caught one of those on a fly rod. Yeah, man. That's awesome. That's a great fish. I was, you know, I was hoping it was a cobia, but it's kind of cooler that it's a remora. You know what I'm saying? We we have to call someone. Uh, you gotta try to find someone. This might be a world record fish. Yeah, we gotta uh, find someone. 12-pound IGFA tip scale. It. Yeah, so let's see if we can make some calls. And worst case scenario, you know, we find somebody, we'll run back to the dock. And now, the Tackle Vox tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. Whenever you spend time out on the salt water throwing fly, that salt residue is gonna build up on your line. And over time, it's gonna make it difficult to shoot the fly line. So here's how I combat that, how I fix that. Really easy, I'm gonna get some hot water. I got a huge, I borrowed this from my wife as a mixing bowl, and I'm gonna get some hot water. There it goes. I'm gonna fill this up with water. Now while it's filling up, I'm gonna do a drop of soap in there. Mix it together, perfect. Next, if you notice, I only have the first section of my fly rod, and that's gonna come in handy later. I'm gonna strip this line all into that container of warm soapy water. Now, I don't want to submerge my reel. This is a sealed reel, but I really, I want to get all of this line on or into this water. There we go. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna tap it lightly and I'm gonna let it sit there. Now, 10 minutes or so go by, I'm gonna dump out this water, hold that fly line. Now I'm gonna rinse it with fresh, warm water one more time. This is gonna get all that soapy residue off there. Again, I like to let it sit. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna empty it. So after you dump that water out, grab that microfiber towel, and this is where I said it keeps comes in handy to keep it on that first section of the rod. You're going to put this line back on the reel with some tension for this fly line is going to run through the microfiber. It's going to dry it and any extra little salt that might be on there is going to come right off. Going back and forth to make sure it lays level and flat. Now this line it's gonna be nice and clean for my next trip out on the salt. Well, it's getting a little rough and we've got your remora, which was stellar. Crazy. Not as big as my remora. Not as big as yours. But <laughs> it's getting a little tough to pop enough fish and sight fish these off these manatees. Um, why don't we pull that fish out and get a measurement Length and length girth. And girth yeah. I wish we, we tried, we made some phone calls. We couldn't get an IGFA certified scale, and that's the key. That's what we need. For the world record. Submit to, it to yeah. IGFA. Uh, but that's okay. I'd rather not kill the fish. I don't need to have my name in a world record book. We It'd know, be really cool. We know you got it, though. But we know we, we all got, know it. That you it, got it. What did we see in the Google? It was five pounds, five and a half pounds. Five and a half pounds. Remora, yeah. that fish is. Way well, bigger, well over. Way bigger than five and a half yeah. pounds. So let's pull it out. We'll get a quick measurement and uh, and then we'll send it on its way and then let's we'll head it. home, bro. Up in here. Look how it's changed color from being in this well. He's trying to match the color of your live well. That's yeah, crazy. That's nuts. He's going to flip out when I grab him. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a completely he's different color. white almost. Almost kind of like when we saw him. Oh, on the back of that manatee, the back of the it looks like a scar. How look cool at that. is that, bro? Wow. That is, looks like a completely different fish. Well, let's get a quick measurement yeah. on him because he's going to dry out quick. Let me splash some water up on the deck of the boat here. Do it. Do it. All right. We 
you said 36. And He's I right it. But the tail pinch, man, he's almost at Yeah, 36. when you pinch that tail, he hits. He's, he's right at 36. Good good call, bro. That's incredible. That's a you wanna get a You wanna get a girth? 13 and a half. Yeah. Heavy okay. girth. Look how he's getting darker. How he went from being that light color in that live well to Change already changing color. back to dark. What a cool fish, man. We thought it was a scar on manatee, but sure enough, that scar came to life. Yeah, that scar came to life. I love that. Absolutely true. There it goes. See ya. Hey, bro, it ain't every day you release a world record fish. That's awesome. That was so cool. That's a first hey, for me, bro. dude. Thank you. Another good day. Definitely my first for more on fly, and, and for it to be that, you know, just, it's just Unreal. another page in the cabin slot, brother. It's just another moment, another memory that we'll always remember. Absolutely. Killer. Let's get out of here. All right, man. When it comes to fishing, it doesn't take much to get me excited. In fact, I'm pretty easy to please. All I need is a bent rod and a screaming drag, and I'll be smiling from ear to ear. Being able to see your target is a definite perk, and it's not every day that I get to sight fish off the back of a manatee, let alone catch a potential world record fish on a six weight with 12 pound tippet. Yes, it's true. The charm of fishing is the pursuit of something that is elusive but it's always better when it becomes attainable.